Hot the balloon or fine love, man. This is the little catch up after the matches match. She catch up with them, see see what's going on, man. I wonder if they be ending up being friends, actually being together or what, man. I know the little younger ones, the other pot the balloons are fine love. I know they don't end up together. They probably just not boots or either don't even talk after it. But these ones more serious, man. So we gonna see what happened, man. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here today with Kay and Mike. Welcome guys. How are we feeling? Good. Thank feeling you for good. having us. Of course. Appreciate of course. It. So we had the both of you on episode 12. Yeah, I remember that episode, man. That was probably like a month ago. If that really. But yeah, seemed like a stand up dude. Seemed like that was a good little match. Of mm -hmm. pop the balloon or find love where you ended up matching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. So is it a yes for you for him, for her? It's a yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. Okay, we got a match. I'll go to take this mic and you guys can go on off. <laughs> oh, everybody holding hands. <laughs> So yeah, um, funny on the show, we got to know a little bit about you guys, you know, you told us little tidbits here and there, but let's know a little bit more. Uh, let's start with you, Mike. Okay, I'm uh, Mike, I'm 37 from North New Jersey. I'm a father, a poet, and an actor. North New Jersey, man, that's where my pops from, man. R.I.P. to my pops. Jersey City, baby. And I've been in and out of Arizona for a few years, and I live in Cali now. And came to the show, I, I like what you guys had going on and felt like I needed to be a part of it. Sent the email and, you know, came on and I'm grateful for the opportunity, man. I'm grateful for, you know, the experience. Okay, that's hard. They actually got to apply. I be wondering how people get on a show. If they just, just tell people to show up or what, but they actually got to apply. They come in from different places and stuff. That's hard. Yeah, he seemed happy he was on the show, man. They must. They must still be together. Okay. So, I mean, like, I know you said you're a poet, actor. How did you get into that kind of stuff? So, yeah, I, I was always into, like, uh, writing. Growing up in church, I used to memorize books of the Bible and want the longest verses and try to, you know, remember the words because, you know, words just always impressed me. So mm -hmm. I used to listen to the, the lyrics when the songs used to come in the cassette tape oh. and they didn't have the lyrics in the back of the CD book. So I would, re you know, listen to the tape, rewind, write the lyrics down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all too young for them cassette tapes, man. <laughs> I'm only like, well, I'm 20, 26, about to be 27. I remember cassette tapes, but I ain't never really And then that's how I just got caught up in that. And then I started doing open mics back in 2012. Okay. And then just, it, it kind of grew from there. I just, you know, just stayed consistent with the work and yeah. started, you know, putting myself out there. So, yeah, okay. you know, I was just something I'm, I'm very passionate about. Nice, so. very cool. Most definitely. All right, and now, Kay, what about for yourself? Let us know a little bit. Okay, well, my name is Kay, and I'm an artist, a singer, a dancer, an entrepreneur. Um, I sell lip glosses and lip balms. Um, I'm also a television producer, mm -hmm. and I'm a lover. I'm a lover girl. <laughs> lover girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, how? I know you said you sound like you're like an entrepreneur. Like, how did you get into? I guess let's say the lip gloss business. Mm -hmm. Well, I've always been into like a bold lip mm -hmm. in like the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just figuring, like, you know what? Let me start selling my own lip glosses. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you just like YouTube how to make it. Like how did you <laughs> YouTube how to make it okay. for sure? And it was really easy and simple. And I just I add my own oils. I'm into oils and herbs and stuff. Uh -huh. So I use a lot of natural ingredients. So yeah, okay. mm -hmm. okay. I'm into making my own products too. Very cool. Yeah. Like what Very, other what other products? Yeah, body oils, mm -hmm. hair products, things like that. Okay, I just yeah. see you glistening. Okay, girl. Thank you. It is kind of hot here, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, obviously, as we saw on the show um, with you guys, how you even came to match originally. Mike, you ended up popping your balloon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. <laughs> so I initially popped because she mentioned, I asked her, you know, how she felt about men with kids. Mm -hmm. And then she said, you know, she prefers men that don't have kids. And mm -hmm. so I have two children. Yeah. Um, I didn't let her finish. So I kind of rushed it because, I mean, the, the previous contestant, you know, she popped immediately. And, you know, I, I didn't want her to settle. Mm-hmm. 
I wanted her to get exactly what you want. You know, the, the it, dating yeah. market is pretty broad. You know, there's people out there that, you know, may have what, what you're looking for because I'm not the type to settle myself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, then she made an exception. So, you know. Okay. I see. Got my balloon. Don't let them kids get in the way of that love, man. Don't let it. But, you know, <laughs> never know. Here we go. Okay. And now, Kay, um, I know, like you initially had said, you were a little iffy about the kids thing. Mm -hmm. So, have you dated someone in the past with kids that, that made you have that thought process? Or, like, what? Actually, never. I've never oh. dated anyone with kids. Okay. Yeah. So, so, for you, it was something like, I haven't done it. Right. I'm not doing it now. Exactly. Kind of thing. I don't, I haven't done it. I don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Uh -huh. But and, but then his kids are older, too. So, it's just like, that made a difference for me. For oh, sure. okay. So, if they were younger, it still would have been a pop. Like, I, leave it a pop. I think if they were younger, it would have been harder for me to accept oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i see so kind of to jump into you know my favorite part of the segment mm -hmm. since you guys matched mm -hmm. have you gone on a date absolutely <laughs> oh. every day no i'm just kidding oh my god yes uh, yeah. every day every day yeah literally every day. We went every day is crazy oh yeah that's love right there <laughs> ain't definitely in love Every day. Um, the first night okay. of the show, and we, the plan was to meet up with some other uh, other people from the show, mm -hmm. and go to Eleven Eleven. Okay. We, we pulled up to the club, and it was kind of crowded. I kind of wanted to get to know more. That wasn't the environment to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And so Kay is cool enough to like you know go with the plan B. We kind of went with the flow. Um, and just ended up having a conversation in the car and making a plan mm -hmm. for the next day. Okay. We talked for a while. Um, and uh, we really just hit it off. Like, it was just natural. Like, nice. real comfortable from the jump. And then, uh, next day, I'll let you tell her about the Okay, let us know. <laughs> sure. Well, first of all, I want to say that, like, I came here intentionally, like, wanting to, like, if I did match with someone, I made the time for it. Good. Like, I intentionally yeah. made a later flight the next day to go back to home. Mm. So, I just told him, you know, I'm free all day tomorrow. Just let me know what you want to do. Yeah. So we had energy. our plan, and it, yeah, energy. He was like, I want to see you first thing in the morning. I'm like, okay, cool. We're both morning people. Mm -hmm. So we met that morning, and we got smoothies. Mm -hmm. And he took me to the river. What's the name of that river, babe? Uh, Tempe Town Lakes. Tempe Town Lakes. Check that out. Okay. What's the name of that river, babe? Oh, man. Yeah, they deep in love. <laughs> They deep in love already. I'm like, you know. Yeah, we're hanging out there, talking right. on the bench. Right. And then we went to get some food right. um, at Chopped. Yeah, Chopped. Yeah, I love that place. I got some you guys like healthy salads. stuff. Y'all yeah, talk about smoothies. Yeah. I know. She, she mentioned on the show, she, yeah, she's right. serious about eating well. Yeah, I see that. That's the way to go, man. Clean diet. I got to get back on my diet, man. I've been slacking. I done gained some weight, too. Face fat. <laughs> and I, like I said, I had just finished my um, detox. I did like a 30 day fruit only detox. Oh. So I was still on my health game. Well, I'm still, I'm always on. Ooh, I gotta run that back, man. 30 day only fruit. I'm finna run that back next month, man. Gotta do it again. I health click, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we did. Um, and then after that, <clears throat> he dropped me off to do my interview with Driva, who's mm -hmm. also on the show. Me and her are really cool. Nice. Yeah, we hung out there. And then he took me to the airport. And then that was that for the, our first day. It was beautiful. beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And then after that first date, you went back to LA, that is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, How was that with the community? I know, I think we're in it, we're the same time right now, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the same time. Yeah, zone. yeah. No time zone difference. So no. She had to fly back, you know, I, I took her to the airport mm -hmm. and we made a plan. Um, I actually already had, uh, I'm an actor, so mm -hmm. the, I was shooting in that area already. Mm -hmm. I was planning on being in town a few days, so I actually flew to California. Mm -hmm. um, we met up and we've kind of been inseparable since then you know, to be honest just in cali enjoying oh, ourselves while you know, okay. hanging out so you've been in cali this whole time the whole time mm -hmm. yeah wow. oh my god you got relocated for hey that's some real love right there that's some real love <laughs> Oh my gosh oh. okay okay <laughs> let me not all right all right all right <laughs> so once you went out to cali that was how soon after 
literally it was like, like three, a day or two. Like two, oh, three days, maybe. Yeah, he was serious. He yeah. was like, I need to come see you. Like, oh my ASAP. God. I was like, okay, okay. Come see me then. <laughs> That's the energy I like. Yes. That's my new series. <laughs> so before, come out here. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so before he had went out there, were you guys like FaceTiming, calling, texting? Like how was it like calling, you guys that texting, plan? all that? Yeah. yeah. Texting, calling, uh, you know. Everything okay. that we could do. Maybe, you know, 2024 it's easier to come and like right, handle a long distance situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I knew Cali uh-huh. was like Cali's right next door anyway. But I know I knew my plan was California, mm-hmm. and it, it just it worked out. It worked you know? out. Yeah. So. so Mike, you went out to LA like pretty quickly, like within three days. Mm-hmm. Um, did you already have a spot out there, or how did that go about? Like, how was the living situation? Yeah. So I'm from North New Jersey, but my my mom, she's actually from. Uh, Riverside, California, mm-hmm. and living in Indio, California. So okay. I already mm-hmm. had family in mm-hmm. California. My brother, he lives in LA. So, I mean, California is where people go in my industry. Oh yeah, this is meant to be. <laughs> For sure, it was meant to be. Like a family yeah, after, to, right? you know, make moves and network and stuff like that. Right. So, Kelly's been my stomping ground since about 2016. Got so, it, okay. her, her saying, uh, you know, LA was like, all right, that's not, that's like it's saying like right next door. Like, you know, so <laughs> okay. It wasn't a big decision, so that's why it didn't take a lot of time. So, nice. You know. Okay. Now, since you've been in LA, like, what are some things you guys have gone into? What had you, how, what have you guys done? Oh, uh, we've been to the beach. Okay. That's one of our favorite things to do. He knows I love going to the water, mm. so he took me to the beach. My first time going to Santa Monica Beach. Mm. Uh, what else have we done? We work out together. Um, go yes. to the movies, mm-hmm. dinner, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, then some, a little bit of traveling. Went to okay. Malibu. That oh, was fun. No. Um, we do everything together. Swimming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what else do we do? Oh what else do you guys get into? I mean, she she also attended one of my shows that I've had. Right. Uh, yes. Section fourteen. Okay. It's a play that we filmed in Palm Springs. It's mm-hmm. about. Uh, the survivors of like black and brown families who were forcibly removed from their mm-hmm. homes and we just kind of devised the piece to kind of express you know the the emotions and the seriousness of mm-hmm. you know some of the secrets of palm springs you know people think you know luxury resorts mm-hmm. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that but they have a, a dark past as well dealing with racism and wow. you know and just justice and you know treating people like like human beings yeah so you so said that was a play that was a play that, that we uh we filmed at the it was two weekends at the end of June. We had about six shows, and she was at every single show. So, sure was. There's the point. That's real, man. They love you. They gonna show up for you every time. There, she was a supporter every single show. So that <laughs> that showed me a lot, man. That meant a lot to me. You know, for her to, to come out and just. You know, be there for me. You know, yeah. I, I, I appreciate things like Aww. that. You know? and well, he's talented, so it was nothing for me. I love seeing him on stage, Aww. and you know, he. Um, one good thing about the show is it was like his original poem, like his original work. Mm. So it made it even more special. And he opened up the show every night. Wow. So I don't know. I love being there for him. <laughs> That's amazing. And now, um, so now that you guys are a lot closer, you know, in the same state now, all of that stuff, like how's the communication been going? All It sounds like you guys are doing really good. <laughs> the, the communication is uh, pretty much... We, we face the face or we just communicate Period. like we we like i think coming on the show uh-huh. we both had done the work prior to being man they living together <laughs> they not moving together already on the show okay. like i i want to express the like how serious i took the show mm-hmm. as far as like being open to love mm-hmm. that's what the name of the show is right yeah. so i feel like i wouldn't come on there to play any games mm-hmm. i did the work on myself I met Kay, I felt like she did the work on herself as well. Mm-hmm. And then so us aligning, things just kind of flow naturally, you know? Yeah. Um, everything that we do doesn't feel forced, it doesn't feel like any pressure, it's kind of just organic. Like she's such a dope individual. And Aww, I just I just you. appreciate having her as a friend in general. I mean, so. Thank you, babe. <laughs> okay, so any final thoughts from, you know, Kay, let's start with you. What are some final thoughts, you know, anything from your experience, for mm-hmm. meeting Mike, whatever it may be? Um, well, first of all, I just want to say thank you and your lovely husband, Mr. BM, for bringing me onto the show. Yeah. Um, even before I like I applied for the show, I I said a quick prayer to myself. For some reason, it felt right to do. So I was just finishing watching an episode. <laughs> Something was like apply, and I said a prayer. I applied, and then a few 
couple hours later, BM called me like, hey, you know, asking me questions, prepping me for the show, telling uh-huh. me like you were interested in having you. I was like, okay, God, I see what you're doing. <laughs> and, I, and I had already had plans to move to California. I'm from Texas, mm-hmm. Dallas, Texas. So it was like perfect. It's like, I'm going to get to California and I'll go to Arizona, I'll do the uh-huh. show. Like, I don't know. It was amazing. It just worked out. Everything is working out how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And like you said, we did the work before we got on the show. Uh-huh. The work to me um, means like getting to know myself better, mm. fasting, doing my detoxes, lots of prayer, lots of journaling about the type of man I want, the type mm. of husband that I want. Yeah. And I even shared those things with him. Like he saw the date that I wrote everything and like he aligns with everything that I want yeah. in a man and a husband. Uh-huh. So um, it's just been a beautiful divine journey. And I'm just grateful for the show. An opportunity and my <laughs> thank you for coming on like you guys were just absolutely amazing okay and like what about for you mike any final thoughts man it's dope to see man <laughs> i never expected this man never first i'd like to start with um i have worked on a project um my, my cousin was killed in 2018 by law enforcement That's in north new jersey that. so i wrote a book um dedicating that to him because it means Fuck 12, man. I can't believe they killed Shawty over the pot, man. It's crazy. A lot, um, and I went through a lot. I went through a lot of uh, a, a dark, you know. I spent a lot of time in the dark, you know, just trying to put the pieces back together from that. So the book is a big dedication that to, uh, he was my best friend, literally. So yeah. there was a void there that I feel like, you know, was missing. So mm-hmm. I just had to do the work. And um, I feel like God puts people in your life for a reason mm-hmm. when you need them the yeah. most, right? So I prayed, I mean, I set, set the intentions, and, you know, um, on the show I said that I know what the truth is, right? Mm-hmm. And the truth is that uh, God is love, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's about um, loving yourself first, loving the people that he puts into your life and the people around you. And, you know, when you know the truth, it, it, it you know that God is speaking to you. Mm-hmm. And you, you have to kind of just follow his lead and not wait for certain things. Mm-hmm. So, you know, sometimes, you know, things from the outside may look like, you know, you're moving fast, but when when a man knows, he kind of knows, like, right. you know, so. What are you about to do right I now? I know for a fact. Hold up. What is he about to do right now? Hold up. <laughs> K was oh, wow. like he was <laughs> Oh my God. I know that there's nobody else like you. You are an amazing friend. You are genuine. You only can pretend to be somebody for so long. It ain't been too long, no. But man. the truth of it only been what, ma? Get that. Eventually comes out and you have been consistent. You have been kind. You have been sweet. Um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, you know? And I I don't feel like I'm rushing. I feel like it's natural. So, I mean, honestly. (laughs) Oh, Oh, my God. Even the people in the background like, whoa. (laughs) Nobody was expecting this. It's crazy. Oh. Look, at her, look at her face. Nicole, I love you I love deeply, you man. Too. And we are moving at our own pace. Oh Regardless God. of anybody else's opinion, you are a special woman, man. And when a man knows, he knows. And I believe from the bottom of my heart that you are my person, oh my, my best God. friend, the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with and just have a good time, man. We just enjoy this oh ride together, man. Oh, my God. Man. So will you do I me? I think she going to say yes or no. <laughs> She better say yes. <laughs> but yeah, she seemed like she genuine. They both seem genuine, man. So she better say yes, man. <laughs> but I got a couple questions, man. Like, has she even met his kids? How old are his kids? They old enough, it really don't matter. But I just got some questions, man, after a month. That's crazy. Okay. And be my wife. Yes! Oh, oh my God. God. I'm crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my 
Yo, I'm literally crying. Oh. Oh, sweet. Yo. Oh, my oh, God. Wait. Oh, my God. But, hey, just engage. They still got time. But now and then they might get married a couple weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. Or that always kids are. Oh, my God. Girl, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh my God. 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 Oh, I love you so much. Give me other tissue. Okay, they're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, she crying. Okay, it's a tissue now. Better cry. Oh, okay. So, uh, Jacob, what you say? So, I just want to say that we did not expect that at all. Oh. That came out of nowhere. I was over there, you know, recording, and um, I'm, I'm like, is this really happening? Like, I'm trying to adjust the cameras and everything. You know, you just blew us all away. Everybody in the studio is absolutely speechless right now. You know, we are out of words. We cannot believe that this happened. Um, so I want to say congratulations to you both. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. to you both. So appreciate it. Yes, and um, I hope that you both listen to each other. I hope that you both work on things together. You know, put God first. And we really do wish the best for you you know best of luck with everything um i'm sure you know everybody wants to follow your journey i mean i want to follow your journey so you know make sure you invite us to the wedding hello <laughs> the balloon wedding hello <laughs> um but yeah no i i we are yeah this is what pop the balloon or find love with Valetta molly is all about yeah. you know real people coming to find real love and you know moments like this special moments like this is what it's about so i appreciate both of you for really trying we you appreciate know you guys man yeah, without the show you. and the opportunity to even meet somebody that could be from across you know different states that you know is your perfect match but having this as a platform is this is genuine man i appreciate you guys for real. Oh, you know? yeah Thank and you. i do want to ask you mike mm. what made you decide that she was the one mm. Mm. So, so without just saying, oh, when you know, you know, yeah. but it, it, it kind of is that because when you know, you just know. Like she checks all my box, my all my uh, she checks all my boxes, so to speak. Um, and she's just a great person, a great friend, um, just a great teammate, somebody I could just have a conversation with and feel like, you know, I just I just know like this is someone I'm meant to really spend a lot of time with, spend the rest of my life with. You know? <laughs> I'm supposed to just do our thing, man. So when you know, you know. Oh my and God! And I know that it I'm seems. In shock. <laughs> I'm in shock, man. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Man. Does that normally happen? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, to each their own. Too quick for me, but I respect it. Hope they <laughs> wish them the best. Hey, to each their own. That's crazy though. Whew. Oh my God. Hey, that's how a lot of couples be working, man. Some people be knowing somebody 10 days. They go ahead and do it last for 60 years. You never know. But man, Whew. I can't believe that. I can't. <laughs> that's beautiful though, man. <laughs>